Well, hello and welcome. I'll do a second video today because for the next few days I'm going to be very busy. Um, so probably no more videos while Monday um, until content resumes. But welcome to my latest new playlist, Should Be in the Hall of Fame. On this playlist I'm going to be going through fighters and talking about fighters who I believe um, should be inducted um, into the Hall of Fame. And the first one is someone I've talked about quite a, an amount of time and quite um, glowingly on my channel. It is indeed the Baltimore Demon. Um, aka Sim Tompkins, aka Young Peter Jackson, okay, a ferocious fighter that he was. Look at that physique, he was fit and strong. And when we look at Peter Jackson, okay, in reference um, for some stats and information on his opponents, he had a near 160 fight career, Peter Jackson. Um, he fought men who held titles across multiple weights that I'll talk about a little bit. He also fought for the, for the coloured middleweight and heavyweight titles in his career as a former lightweight allied. Um, he also fought for the world welterweight title. And again, world champions he come he came in with a total um in his career of 26 fights against world champions he had also a massive 21 fights against hall of fame fighters and young peter jackson even though um he started out as a lightweight and fought his way up um he had a lot of knockouts okay um scoring 59 in his career um and could knock out light heavyweights and middleweights as a former lightweight so he a bit like langford not to langford's uh, crazy extent but he also maintained his power but a lot of it came from his aggression his fitness, his um, endurance in fights, he could maintain his power. He also had 28 fights against pound pound rated fighters rated in my all time ranking. So young Peter Jackson, when we look at the list of opponents he's um, beaten or lost or drawn to, uh, he has quite a decorated list, okay? Young Peter Jackson lost to the excellent um, contender Oscar Gardner. He also um, beat Philadelphia Jack O'Brien, um, a current Hall of Famer and a fighter I have always said um, goes underrated. And if you check out his career video on my Light of Weight playlist, you'll see what a staggering career he had. He also beat the 1890s welterweight champion, okay? Who also fought by Bados Joe Walcott, Mysterious Billy Smith. He also beat fighters like Jack Bonner and Tommy West, Dan Creedon um, and Charlie McKeever, all excellent fighters and excellent contenders. He also beat Mike Donovan. He also beat former coloured middleweight champion Joe Butler. He also, of course, beat the great Barbados demon himself, Barbados Joe Walcott. He beat um, tough middleweight contender Larry Temple and also beat my pound for pound number one rated fighter of all time, Sam Langford. He also lost to name as well, including some of the names he beat and some names he didn't beat. He lost to the excellent defensive master, Young Griffo, from Australia. He also lost to mysterious Billy Smith as well as winning. He also lost to former coloured lightweight champion Bobby Dobbs. Um, lost to Barbados Joe Walcott. Lost to Philadelphia Jack O'Brien, so he both won and lost to those guys. He also lost to the excellent fighter, George Cole. Um, also lost to Sam Langford. Um, he had a multi-fight series of Sam Langford. And young Peter Jackson actually fought Jack Johnson. Yes, the former lightweight fought Jack Johnson at heavyweight um, incredible as though it may seem he also fought and lost um, to the great Hall of Fame heavyweight Joe Jeanette and he lost um, to my Ed Smith okay gumbo so, young Peter Jackson, why should he be in the Hall of Fame? Well, first of all, okay, um, he didn't hold an established title, which some people obviously will hold against him. Okay, he did hold a coloured title. Um, some people dispute that, but I've seen evidence that he did indeed hold that title um, and fought Sam Langford for it. Now, holding the coloured middle middleweight title is one thing. One of the main reasons why I think he's deserving at Hall of Fame is his weight move and his ability to fight Hall of Fame fighters and champions across multiple weights. Um, if we just look at the names he's fought and beat. You know, he's fought um, Bobby Dobbs, okay, coloured lightweight champion. When we move up the scale a bit, okay, he's fought another lightweight um, in Young Griffo. When we move up another bit, okay, to welterweight champions or Hall of Famers, he's fought and beat Mysterious Billy Smith and lost to him. He's fought and beat Barbados Joe Walcott and lost to him. Um, he's also fought lightweight and welterweight Sam Langford. When we go up, okay, to middleweight, okay, he's beaten former coloured middleweight champion Joe Butler, lost to... Um, to the excellent black fighter and tough fighter George Cole. Then we go up a light heavyweight, okay? He's fought and beat Philadelphia Jack O'Brien and scored a knockout over him. He also lost to Jack O'Brien, um, but he also scored a knockout over him. And then he's even fought heavyweight Hall of Famers Sam Langford, um, who he won and lost to in that fight series, Jack Johnson and Joe Jeanette, and six foot two and a half Gumbo Smith. 
So one of the reasons he goes into Hall of Fame for me is young Peter Jackson fought men from pretty much who held titles or a Hall of Famers in every weight, from lightweight to heavyweight. You know, it is really incredible. And people talk about Pacquiao's weight move, but this same fighter here who fought multiple Hall of Famers across multiple weights um, does not get the same credit for that. And I've always argued against that. Um, another reason is he was a ferocious fighter, okay? No fear in young Peter Jackson. He was a two-hander puncher. Um, as you can tell by his knockouts, he could knock people out were lefts, rights, he could knock him out early, he could knock him out late. Many of the knockouts he scored against champions or Hall of Famers were actually early knockouts, okay, um, and even beating fighters like Philadelphia Jack O'Brien by stoppage, Mysterious Billy Smith by stoppage, Sam Langford by stoppage. His powers demonstrated in the fact he also beat multiple Hall of Famers or champions by knockout, and some of them very early. So he was a very, very dangerous puncher. He was a great weight mover. He fought fighters across multiple weights. He also fought many of best contenders around at that time, like Jack Bonner, Tommy West, the excellent middleweight contender. You know, Dan Creedon and Charlie McKeever, these guys are no pushovers. You know, George Cole, Gumboat Smith. So wrapping his whole career up, okay, he doesn't have the shiny green title of a Vitaly Klitschko. You know, he doesn't have uh, the strap that a Barry McGuigan held um, that somehow qualified them along with their careers into the Hall of Fame. But what he does have is an enormous resume where he challenged himself, pushed himself for all comers from lightweight to heavyweight, scored many great victories and many knockout wins over champions and Hall of Famers. Also fought many of the top contenders of his time with zero fear, would often fight men, okay, with severe weight disadvantages and yet despite that could hold his own and could fight them and even beat them or knock them out. So, you know, what we're talking about here really is a ferocious puncher, um, a fighter with little fear, one of the great weight movers, okay, like many weight movers from Britain and Lewis and Langford um, and Leo, Florian Hook, many of these great weight movers and young Peter Jackson, he deserves credit for that as well. So really the only thing I think stopping him being inducted into all of film already is that lack of an established title. Now me, I consider the coloured titles titles anyway. Um, so I give him that credit for the title he fought for, which to me is just like having WBC, WBA, IBF. But then they had a coloured title and they had the established title. Uh, in most cases, the fights for the coloured title were much tougher fight runs against much greater opponents for most of the time. So young Peter Jackson is my first entry Okay, in the boxing librarian uh, should be in the Hall of Fame playlist of course many more videos and fighters to be inducted on this place going forward uh, but I'll be back probably Monday I'm out for now